Brazil. Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all The Sims games for the 360 and PS3. The Sims 3 is a gigantic leap in the series. When you compare this game to The Sims 2, it completely obliterates that game. It gives so much more depth to the gameplay, it's crazy. Before, when a sim went to work, it will just disappear, but now you can play with your sim everywhere. And also now, you occasionally get opportunities, and accepting or refusing them has an impact on the game, which makes it more interesting. A lot of the previous grinding parts were cut out, also now you aren't tied down to the house anymore, or well, mostly to some few locations. In The Sims 3, you have complete freedom to go wherever you want, but be aware that your sims age and die, or if you want you can turn that option off if you want. Also the customization options are insane, they exceed everything you've ever seen in The Sims 2. It's crazy how much liberty you get in customization. The game is legendary, the amount of depth you get is astounding. You can control almost every little aspect of your sims, no matter how small. You can roam the city and even get into other people's houses. The game creates a world that functions on its own. It's amazing. If you've played other sims games and didn't like them, I recommend you give it another chance by playing The Sims 3. This one sure is a masterpiece. But there is a catch. The Sims 3 is a masterpiece. But it depends on what you are going to play the game. Later on, after you leave the house, there will be some horrendous performance issues, choppy frames, stutters and lots of loadings if you play the console version. So I will recommend you to stay away from the consoles and play the game on PC where it's more smooth and stable. But if you are willing to get past the performance issues, the game is the same masterpiece as I told you about. The Sims 3 Pets feels rather like an expansion pack than a standalone game. You mostly control the humans and while you have to take care of the pets, you also take care of the humans too. And how do you do that? In the same way you did in The Sims 3 base game. The pets mostly are just there. Sure, you feed them, wash them and pet them and play with them, but still, it doesn't feel as if the game is focused on the pets. That's why the game feels rather like an expansion pack. It's Sims 3 but with a DLC, with pets. And on console, it's more disappointing. Not only that you get performance issues like choppy frame rates, annoying loading times, but it has less content too. Also comparing it to other versions, this game is a step back. In The Sims 2 pets, you could have cats, dogs, hamsters and parrots as pets. And on The Sims 3 pets, on the PC, you can have a cat, a dog and a horse as a pet. Whereas here, in The Sims 3 pets, on console, you can only have cats or dogs. At least you get many sorts of customization options. But still, you get less content. And the performance issues are annoying. If you ever want to play this game, I recommend you the PC version. It's smoother, has more content, and is better overall. Oh, and by the way, the console versions suck in comparison to the PC version. First off, you don't get any expansion packs. The Sims 3 Pets, which is an expansion pack on PC, is a standalone game on console. And even the expansion packs that you do get on consoles are, aren't really something. They aren't the big expansions pack you would expect from The Sims 3. And the world is significantly smaller on console than on PC. And everywhere you go, there are loading screens. Don't play the games on console. Plus that on PC you can mod the game, making it even better. The console versions of The Sims 3 is a total disappointment. I know it sounds like I contradict myself because I called it a masterpiece earlier. Well, the base game of The Sims 3 is a masterpiece compared to The Sims 2. The game has a lot of depth and when it doesn't have performance issues, the game is incredible. But when you see the PC version, 
The console versions suck, having less content, no expansion packs and a way smaller world. Its core gameplay is a masterpiece. The Sims 3 as a gameplay as gameplay is a masterpiece. But on console it's very poorly executed. It's a good game but butchered. That's why I recommend you to avoid the console versions of The Sims 3 and stick to the PC version. My Sims Sky Heroes is an arcade dogfight game and playing race. It's easy to pick up, easy to play, it's just perfect for a kid. Whether you race or dogfight, the game is wholesome. You get the usual customization options and there's not really much to say about the game. It's enjoyable, though it gets repetitive. You get a story too, that again is there just to give some purpose to the game. Oh, and you can collect power-ups for your playing during dogfights. It's a wholesome game and pretty enjoyable, but the description of the game is rather simple. Just try it, you'll see. It gets repetitive, but it's still enjoyable. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.